So the video last week was something different in a T680. Well, little did I know what I had in store for this week. This week is another T680, and it's another something different. What makes it different? We're gonna dive in and find out. Hey everyone, it's Josh at Kenworth of Richfield. This week, like I said, this truck's a little bit special. It's quite a bit different than most of the trucks that I talk about for two big reasons. We're gonna get into those in a bit. First off, I'll give you some B-roll that's gonna have uh, a hint about what's different in this. So one of the first things that you're probably gonna notice about this truck and noticed in the B-roll there is this color. If you look at the shadowed side of this truck, it's black. Come to this side, it's a little bit blue, but mainly it's still kind of black with a bluish metal flake to it. This color, I'm not gonna say it's my new favorite because, well, you already know what that is. Really close second on this color. Now, this is a specific color that the uh, customer actually did a lot of research with Kenworth to find out. I think it paid off. What do you think? This may lead you to ask why I don't typically review customer trucks. Honestly, we usually have enough trucks on the lot that I can go over those and not be redundant with them. And in most cases, a customer truck like this, I usually let them take their spec and roll down the road with it. With this being a research truck well to me that's worth diving into so let's not do everything strange let's do something normal by starting at the front here adaptive cruise control yes it's on this truck i've gotten some great feedback in the past couple of videos about this this truck is going to be a test bed for part of that that's going to be involved with this so it's going to be interesting to see some of the other options we've got here but that's one of them when you've got a color like this well, you really want to put it on the bumper too also, right? You know I'm going to talk about the wire mesh grill. Yeah. When you're in a truck, no matter what driver assistance items you have, visibility is everything, whether it be with a computer, whether it be with a camera, or the regular old hood mirror. Just one of those things you want to have on the truck. Standard halogen projector beam headlights on this. Did I mention this color? So when you open the hood, you're going to find a 510 horsepower, 1850 foot pound of torque Packard MX-13 engine. When you're putting together a test truck, the last thing you want is a dog. So, yeah. Sitting directly below all that, we've got a 13.2 axle, 13.2 springs. Got a single gearbox set up on this truck because that's really all you need. Alcoa Durbright wheels, Michelin tires, and inside of that, we've got Bendix disc brakes. As we head down the side of this truck, one of the first things that I'm gonna notice about it, have I mentioned how much I love this paint color? I mean, just this in the mirror alone is amazing. Speaking of the mirrors, we've talked about these and how I can shake the whole truck with the mirror and it's not gonna budge at all. We're going to talk about how I'm shaking the whole truck just using that part too in just a second. This truck, engine heater underneath, it's also got the shore power hookup. It's got an inverter built into this truck. That way, if you plug in someplace, you can run your television, Xbox. I don't, I think it's going to have computers in here, but I don't think they're going to be playing games. I never know. They might be. 
Nonetheless, this truck does have the Advantage package, which pretty much all sleepers do now with the guard under here to prevent air from getting up underneath the cab. Same thing down at the bottom down there. That way we can keep the air out from underneath the truck, keep it out here, much more aerodynamic, much better in going through the wind with that. We come back, we've got our def tank here. Obviously this truck has the full fairings. At the back of these fairings is the kick out. Now, rather than doing the uh, enclosure all the way back to the wheel on these, these are set up to really just push the air out and past the wheel. They've found they've gotten better fuel mileage by doing this than running the full fairing that had the step in the side of it. Just an interesting little tidbit there. Same thing here, this helps keep that air that may be caught up underneath here with this guard. This once again kicks it out past the tires, past the trailer. Got the cab extenders back here. Underneath all this, 100 gallons of fuel. Typically, if I work my way down the one side of a truck, I'm not necessarily gonna go the other side. Just, you know what's over there. On this one, it's a little bit different because we've got the Bendix blind spotter system over here. On that passenger windshield pillar, there is three lights and a beeper. Someone's here and you go to change lanes, it is going to tell you about it. It's pretty handy, especially when you consider it's right here. Now granted, I can see right into that hood mirror, but we've all found people, cars, motorcycles, whatever. Something in this spot that surprised us and probably the people that were in this spot too. So we're gonna talk about airbags now. We're not gonna talk about the one that comes out of the steering wheel. We're not gonna even talk about the ones on the suspension. In fact, we're not even gonna talk about your ex-wife. What we are gonna talk about is the airbags that hold the sleeper up. Kenworth does this quite a bit different. Now, in a day cab, because that airbag is so close to the front hinge, the front two hinges, you're not really worried about any movement like this. When you put it this far back though, with this long of a sleeper, you can get a little bit of that tipsy-turvy feeling with it. Kenworth combats that by putting the airbags as far as they can to the outside. What that does is that gives you better support, more stability, for a better ride the whole way through the cab. It's these little touches that I always enjoy seeing and talking about because these are the things that makes Kenworth the world's best. So what do we have out back holding everything up here? We've got Michelin tires. Inside of that, we've got Alcoa Durabrite wheels. Inside of that, another set of Bendix disc brakes. Inside of that, we've got Paca rear ends with 283 gears on it. Holding all of it up, AG 400L suspension. This is, once again, that four bag air suspension. Really good over the road. Does a great job of smoothing out the bumps and does a really good job of keeping those tires planted, giving you the traction so you don't have to call the hook. The interior of this truck is unique. It's everything that you would expect out of a Kenworth in terms of quality. The fit and finish is, I mean, it's like no other truck out on the market. Now this one, because it's meant for testing, doesn't have some things that you may find otherwise. Now granted, it's still got the smart wheel, it's got a good complement of gauges to it, but there's no nav plus system or anything like that. When you get into the bunk, it's pretty bare because they're probably gonna be tearing a lot of that out and putting testing equipment back there. At least that was my understanding when we were building the truck. I'll be interested to see what it ends up looking like inside down the road. Don't know if I'll have that opportunity, but it would definitely be interesting to see. So I'm not really gonna spend a whole lot of time in here because it is pretty basic. There's nothing really that incredibly special to it. Now, there's two bits in here that are a little bit special. The one of them I alluded to earlier, it's right behind the camera there on the A pillar. That's, that's basically your setup that tells you if there's someone in your blind spot. The other piece that's kind of interesting is up and mounted in the windshield up here, there is a camera. Now this has the lane departure system, so it knows if you start to come out of a lane without putting on your turn signal. Should they put that in BMWs? Okay, 
nonetheless, this actually starts to let you know if you're going to go out of a lane, basically, if you're not paying enough attention. The other thing is, is it does have a camera in it that will start to record things if an event happens. Now, I'll be very honest with you. I haven't had enough time to do much research on that. But it's definitely something that I want to look into, and it's definitely something that you're going to be able to look forward to in an upcoming video. With all that being said, guys, I hope you found this tour kind of interesting, because there's, like I said, a couple of different things that normally I don't look at on these, but this one obviously, I think it was well worth a look. If you like that paint color, in fact, guess what the paint color is. If you can guess what the paint color is, then we'll we'll see what we got. But I'd love to hear what your guys' guesses are in terms of what the paint color is. If someone's right, we'll, we'll figure something out for them. As always, guys, I want to thank you for coming along on the ride. Do me a favor, make sure you hit the subscribe button if there's something you'd like to see in a future video or something you had a question on in this one. By all means, put that in the comments below. Thumbs up if I deserved it, you think? As always, stay safe out there. Keep it rubber side down. I will catch you on the flip side. I don't know if I should take a nap or not. Eh.